If you were watching uh, Good Day Atlanta earlier this week, then you might have noticed that, that Dana spilled the beans. She broke the news I did in not the best mean way. To. And she did, and, but that's what made it so. I told her, I was like, that's how it should be with baby number three. Well, you know that's I mean? part. Like, I mean, if this had been baby number one and I had done that, there have been tears, there have been meetings, <laughs> I would have been on probation. It's baby number three. And Come I was on. Like, eh. And they already knew. So it was uh, like I, well, confirmation. I, was a, I just thought everybody knew. I know. Because I should have shared so I know. long. I know. And, and I thought, I'm big. So you know what I mean. I thought but everybody I knew. But I love, I love the comments. They were like, well, we knew because Dana told us. And I thought, <laughs> when you it. said that, I thought, nah, they didn't pick up on that. No, oh, oh y'all picked up on it. Yeah, you did. You did. You yeah. definitely did. So. so that's the news. And Dana, I'm glad that I got to share that with you on the couch. I guess yeah. uh, reaffirm. Reaffirm, <laughs> yeah. Because it's not like some of you didn't know. That's I mean, true. Some of you, you were real knew. keen, real early. Yeah, y'all knew. You knew. Okay, so this is a story that I'm really excited about, and it's one that Dana has worked hard on for us. So last week, she told us the importance of using AI early, that artificial intelligence is only as good as the information we give it, but frankly, it seemed daunting. It really did. So I wanted to use it. I wasn't sure how. You may be in the same boat. So she said that start by letting it do some meal planning, but even still, the question question was how <laughs> behind on this and it's embarrassing to say I'm so behind you mentioned you know tell it that you're a vegetarian and it'll I don't even know who to tell who where who is to the tell? who do I tell like what right. do I so find that's next? To tell who to tell <laughs> we're gonna do that we are going to do that next week so the time has come. Challenge was accepted. Fox 5 iTunes' Dana Fall is here with just how easy it is to use AI and how quickly it can simplify our lives, Dana. And I hadn't really used AI either, and I knew it was likely easy because th that's the whole point, to make this stuff easy, right? But I had no idea just how easy. I mean, i got to tell you, I'm sold on this now, and I think Elise is too. And here's how you can be. Let's start with meal planning for Elise and her growing family. Emory professor David Schweidel is an expert in this field of artificial intelligence, but he says you've already been using AI. If you use Google Maps, you're using AI, right? If you use Siri and Alexa, you're using AI. If you have a spam filter, you're using AI. It was about a year ago, he said, that we started to hear about something called ChatGPT. It's a website and it's an app. And that is what has largely been credited with popularizing um, AI in the vernacular today. And businesses that are using it are seeing up to 90% cost and time savings when they let AI do some of their office chores. Software developers are using it to write code and they're reporting higher satisfaction with their jobs because they're not doing the mundane tasks. Big business is sold on this technology, but most of us are like Elise, semi if I'm honest, not exactly sure how to access it, much less use it. That's a normal reaction. So let's dig in and figure this thing out. We're going to build a meal plan for Elise and her family of four with one on the way. They're busy, and any way they can shave off one of their chores, well, they're interested. There are lots of platforms to choose from, but we're going to start with really the starter model, ChatGPT, the earlier version, 3.5. Now, you can download the app or you can sign up on your computer. It's free. You know how to do that. But asking it to do a job for you is a little different than doing an internet search. So this is the learning curve. First results that you get might not be the final results. So you may it's going to be back and forth to kind of refine it to okay. get what you want. Like a conversation. Like a conversation. This is what we've asked. Meal planning, family of four, mom is pregnant, two kids are preschoolers. We think no diet considerations right now. They all tend to be very hungry. That's right. Three meals a day for five days. Traditional meals present in a tabular format. Yes, he asked for this meal plan to be presented in a certain format. And boom, there it is. A week's worth of meals for the family. We're going to start Monday with scrambled eggs, whole wheat toast, and a mixed fruit salad. For lunch, we've got gr a grilled cheese sandwich, carrot sticks, hummus with pita and yogurt and then dinner is spaghetti and meatballs with garlic bread and
and a mixed vegetable salad. Okay, let's tweak it. Make it a little more interesting. And he writes just that. Let's mix it up a bit. He's asked for international dishes to be added to the menu. We've gone to a chicken stir fry with rice, an Asian inspired stir fry. We've got beef tacos with salsa. Then he coaches it to send along detailed recipes and a shopping list. And folks, that's it. That's all there is to it. It's that easy. So sign up. Now, you can pay $20 a month for this service and actually get better access. You'll get pictures and more detail, but really, let's just start first with this free version. The limitation on the free versions is if there's heavy traffic, you're not going to be able to log in. This is like early internet. Exactly. It's easy, and there are so many ways to replicate this. Plan your garden. Do you have writer's block? This can get you started, spruce up your resume. Also, there are so many AI platforms, not the one there. We showed you the easiest, more introductory one, but there are a bunch and I'm gonna have links to a few of them on our web version. So it sounds like Dana, this is really the baby step in getting yeah. our foot in the door, getting started. Just get on it, give it a try and recognize this is technology is moving so quickly that pretty soon you are going to have apps in your app store that are already going to be specialized. I mean, by the summer that are going to be one solely for food or meal planning or one that's just for resume writing. So there's going to be a whole new world out there. And the part of the story last week was to say that the futurists, the, the people who know this stuff, mm -hmm. who've created this, want everyday average people on AI early because AI is not creating its own brain. We're giving it the information right. to create this and they want good people creating it. They want nice people creating it and they want people who are going to show them what they want every single day to help create it. And that's what we want out of AI. So right. it's, it's our opportunity to be a part of that. Yeah, you know what? Scammers getting in there first. Ooh, I know and then we hear so much about that part of it. You know what I mean? So it's good to hear about this part. So if we benefit. jump in now and get familiar, mm -hmm. I mean, just food planning, something simple, help, help me with my grocery list, then we can recognize the good parts over the bad parts more quickly. Okay, so we have some homework to do this weekend. Yeah, so do it this weekend. <laughs> I mean, I'm do, a do thing, it. Like plant, what do I need for my Thanksgiving meal? Or give me a modern uh, table setting for Thanksgiving. Give me a traditional table setting. Those sorts of things. There we go. All right, Dana, thanks All so right, much. And we congratulations. Thank you so much. Glad Dana. I could be in on your announcement. <laughs> yeah, I love her. I wore blue. <laughs> I know, she did. By the way. She wore blue. <laughs>